Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Saints, but this time we're in the lower bracket facing off against Université de Montréal. Mon Montréal? I'm not sure how the French pronunciation of that one is, but I'm sure the French all and the English all have the same word for hype, and that's ah! Which I'm sure we're going to be all saying by the end of this game. Loser of this one gets eliminated from the tournament. Their hopes and dreams, their chances of trying to make it into the CCA Summer Series will be dashed as the ashes Christian leaves from the remains of Udem's Jeremy. But Nitrix with the clean save. Chemo looking for something there. Nitrix steals away. Jerry is going to be able to try to fight for it, but ultimately going to bide his time in the corner. Not going to find the right moment, but still waiting for the perfect time to strike. And there he is. He finds it. Riding the wall, trying to get that 50. Not quite going to get it, but... Kimo is ready for it. Tokyo on the ground, but it's going to get a little bit of a fight there with the goalie from the Saints side of things as Orange versus Blue over in this net. Spoods going to the back line, waiting for the ball to find him. But Christian is going to find Tokyo's uh, grill in his rear as he goes for that demo. Christian right back into the action, not missing a beat. Grilling it back, a nice pinch, sending it over to the corner. No one was ready to follow up off of it. However, it's going to be a nice setup, but no one's going to be able to capitalize off of it as Udom takes it back over to Orange. Saints are going to be battling it out here. Nitrix looks for the gap in the uh, dribbling there and really just takes it out, but it's going to find its way back over to their side. Once again, Nitrix goes for the clear, but it's going to get bounced back. Christian's going to be able to find that one. And finally, Spoots sends this one packing. And it's not going to get sent right back immediately. The Saints are now on the offensive. Spoots finding his way into the corner, battling it out against Jerry. But he's going to find that clear. He's going to let him have it as well. As they know, Nitrix is ready over on their side to send this one into the skies. Nitrix battling it out. But ultimately, not going to make that one work. Tokyo and Nitrix. Just switching back and forth between their perspectives here. Spoods in the corner, trying to get there at the very least. And Nitrix on the ground, making sure that ball is not going to leave their clutches. Tokyo slow crawling this one up against the wall. Spoods ready to battle them out as they both hit each other on the ground and then meet each other in the skies. A very coordinated dance. Nitrix preventing that one from going back over to their side. Christian makes his way back behind. Spoods ready to stop that one from getting cleared. And just a small touch with... No! Christian flying into the net. Kimo was there to take that one out, prevent it from going in. I think that's as good of a save as you could possibly ever hope to get in a situation that looked almost guaranteed to be a goal for the Saints. Kimo was ready to say, hell no. Jerry trying to really make that save worth the while of his teammate Kimo. They're still battling it out here. Over on this side, Spoots just fighting over into the corner. Nitrix going to be stuck over on Blue's side, but at least this is looking to be a good thing as the Saints offense very quickly comes back. He switched spots with Spoots and Christian. They're on the offense, but once again, tagging out Spoots to the back. Nitrix to the front, Christian over on the side, waiting for it, finds it, gonna get that clear, prevent them from going in, but another shot, not quite, no one went for it, as Christian set that one up, Nitrix is able to chip that one into the air, Jerry looking for that pinch, he finds it, that's gonna be one on the board for Université de Montreal, and it's not looking pretty for the Saints just yet, one minute on the board, or one minute on the clock, one on the board. This is losers. Once again, you lose one more matchup, you're out of the tournament, and it seems that the Saints, they are not having a great time thus far. Nitrix and Spoods. Christian as well, all over on blue side. Looks like they're going all in for this right now. They don't have a lot of time to work with, so if they're going to find something, it's going to have to be fast, and they recognize that. You can see it reflected in their play. Nitrix into the corner. 
with Spoods. Oh, a beautiful rebound shot. I don't even know if that was planned, though. I will give them the benefit of the doubt and say it was as Jerry looks to get it clear, but Spoods was ready for it, chipping that one right into the top left corner of the net. And now we're tied up with 30 seconds on the clock. Are we already going to go into another overtime? These guys don't want to give each other a break. They don't want to give me a break either. <laughs> I got to say, I respect it for sure, though, playing with 100% of their heart and their skill to try to keep their tournament dreams alive. This Jerry tries to get that pinch, just misses it. But Tokyo trying to go for the follow-up. It's relentless aggression. Spoods carrying this one forward. A little slow on it, just keeping it on the ground so they can get that overtime. But Christian's going to pop it up and it's going to get sent down. It's going to be the reset here as we go into the overtime once again. And right off the kickoff, Christian is going to find a little bit of an advantage. We're going to go over to Kimo, who's going to be able to take that one back. Now, Nitrix going to try to find something here. Spoos is going to intercept the interception. It's not going to go as fast into blue as it might have been otherwise. But Christian with a nice save. Kimo. Gonna be trying to battle with Spoots, but he breaks it away, steals it. Jerry is going to come around the corner and stop it from going anywhere. Too dangerous. Nice shoots the shot onto the net, but no follow-up. Christian waiting on their side of the field. Spoots is gonna get that nice, quick, and clean clear. And Christian following it up to make it even more ambitious to try to intercept. Going over to the blue corner now. Christian's gonna go back. Nitrix and Spoots taking over the offense, but Kimo is gonna be trying to beat it over. Tries to send it over Christian, but Christian's gonna get the demo on Kimo. I'm not even sure how. It looked like Kimo was behind him. Very interesting how that one worked out. Christian and Spoots up on the front. Nitrix near mid, but Christian going for another demo. He's ravenous, bloodthirsty, does not have a care in the world. He wants nothing more than make it to the CCA Summer Series. And once again, you can see it in the aggression that they're laying forth. One side of the Saints, Chemo and Christian rubbing their sides together here, trying to scrape some paint and exchange it. Maybe trade colors, maybe trades teams here as Nitrix with a nice and calculated, slow, easy, clean shot. No one able to stop that one out. Time was bought for him by his team. They know he's able to deliver and deliver he does as that's one more goal that's gonna take the Saints to take this game one. The overtime is gonna go their way. An excellent game by both teams thus far. And as we're heading into game two, I'm excited to see what these teams have in store. Université de Montreal was able to take one goal there. In fact, I think they were the ones that led the goals. Saints only found their first one 30 seconds away from the first game. So this team is not to be messed with for sure. And they're demonstrating that they have the skill, they have the capabilities to beat the Saints outright without much of a fight, but it seems that Saints don't want a repeat of that last game as they're heavy on the offensive right now. And Spoods just driving through two of them, brute forcing that ball into the net without a care in the world, sends it in. Look at that, two of them bumping one of them, in fact, as he made his way into the net. A very nice shot indeed, as with 17 seconds into this first game. Saints are already one on the board, but can they stay that way? That's all that matters in the end. You can get a goal, but you have to maintain the advantage. You have to maintain the lead. And Christian faking them out here, making it look he was gonna do an air drive, but just resets on the ground and bumps it up. Christian and Nitrix. Spoods, in fact, also on the offense. Christian playing midfield, however. Spoods trying to clear this one up, but Christian, as he was buying a time for him, Christian comes out from behind and sends that one flying forward. Tokyo in the air, and that's open for the Saints, but they can't get over there fast enough to make it a goal. Saints are able to get back in time. They recognize that that's the Saints offense is really all about is knowing when they can get aggressive, knowing when they can triple commit without it biting them in the butt. But looks like Tokyo is going to be taking another shot. Going to catch the axles of Spoods. Nitrix sending this one flying. Can anyone beat him out here? No, he was able to cradle that one down, but Kimo stopped him. None of his teammates were ready to make the follow up. Christian cutting that one short. Spoods. Nitrix taking it along, along the wall. Kimo sitting on the back lines here. Spoods taking that one up, however. 
Tokyo not too far behind. Nitrix on the ground trying to meet this one, but Christian from the sky is pinching it. Going to send this one into the air once again. Jerry almost finding a gap, but opts to not take it again. It would have been a little too risky here. Three minutes on the clock. Saints leading one point thus far. Tokyo is trying to battle out with the Christian, but as they take things to the wall, Jerry, oh man, always finding those opportunities, finding those moments. It's never when we're watching Jerry do we see him fly through like a missile and just make a very good steal for his team. But once again, 2.40 on the clock. The Saints are still leading one. It's looking that the Saints are still doing a great job of maintaining the pressure over on uh, Udom's side. So they haven't even really had much of a chance to get aggressive. They haven't really had much of a chance to make any real plays. They are just constantly playing on the back foot so far. And Saints are very happy to see that. Now Spoods getting a nice interception off of that clear. Jerry, however, on the wall, looking for the pass to Kimo, but it's gonna get intercepted by Christian. He's even gonna try to make that a self pass, but no. Nitrix now up in the air, trying to send that one where he wants it to, carrying it, but not quite smooth. Sending that one over, this is always the shot you wanna see as it would bounce off the top post and allow one of your teammates to shoot it in straight from the center, but not gonna be able to get uh, that one going as it's gonna get intercepted. 140 on the clock now. Been a full minute since that last time check we made. But Christian carrying that one forward. It's going to get beaten out by Jerry, however. Spoods, Nitrix on the back. Christian still making aggressive plays. Now he's actually going to be playing on the back line. Nitrix and Spoods switching sides. All three of them looking for something here, but they quickly recognize they need to play a little bit more uh, passively, a little bit more carefully, as Udem was able to find uh, a nice clear and a nice attempt, but off the top post, trying to go for the pinch, keeping it up there, but Nitrix and Spoods, 50 is gonna go the way of Saints. Tokyo catching that rebound, but it's not gonna matter. Christian intercepts it and almost sends that into their net. Nitrix riding the wall. Spoods and Christian are in the back line. Tokyo, the rest of Udem almost finds something here. It's looking pretty good for them, but no, it's gonna get cleared out once again. A nice bump exchange, sending them both fly. Christian and Tokyo, or Christian and Jerry rather. Christian out in the air. Nitrix on the ground waiting for him. Can they turn this into a shot? No, doesn't even need it, but a pin shot. It's gonna get the off angle, however. Very unfortunate, but they're still maintaining their lead. 30 seconds remaining for Udem to find a goal to tie this one up. This is about when the Saints found theirs, so who knows? It's far from impossible. Wouldn't be uncommon in this game, but oh, that almost was another goal. Kimo once again with these excellent saves, keeping their dreams alive. Jerry with the breakaway. Can this be it? Tokyo with the follow-up. Can he find it? Kimo setting it in. Boots is ready, but no, Jerry, no, it was a little too slow. And with that, the Saints are gonna take this game. Very well played over UDEM. It was a very close match, especially right near the end. But with that match, with that game out of the way, that is also gonna be the match. Saints are gonna take it 2-0 over Université de Montreal, and that's gonna be them advancing through the lower bracket, keeping their tournament dreams alive. Ladies and gentlemen, the Saints are still fighting. We hope you can continue to lend them your energy because they definitely need it fighting through this bracket of hard hitters. But we're gonna send it to a quick break as we get ready for the next game. We'll see you all very soon.